An example trigonometry problem might be as follows. An aeroplane is heading due north at a speed of 500 km per hour, but it's encountering a west wind blowing at 200 kph. How many degrees off course will the plane be blown by the wind? And how far will the plane actually travel during its first hour of flight? In order to answer these questions, we must first draw a compass cross on squared paper. In terms of degrees, north, of course, is zero, or 360 degrees. East is 90 degrees, south is 180 degrees, and west is 270 degrees. Next, we should draw in a line of appropriate length to represent the plane's initial projected journey. In this case, 500 kph due north. Due north could be represented by a line five squares long. After that, we should draw in the line representing the wind blowing from the west at 200 kph. Note that this line travels towards the east as the wind is blowing from the west. Finally, the ends of both these lines should be joined together in order to form a triangle with a hypotenuse of unknown length, with this the third line representing the actual flight path of the plane after being blown off course. If we now zoom in, we can see that we have a right-angled triangle, and that the angle formed at the bottom, known as theta, can be calculated through trigonometry like so. Equally, the length of the hypotenuse can be calculated using Pythagoras' theorem. If we now return to our questions, we can say that the plane will be blown 21.8 degrees off course, and that instead of travelling 500 kilometres in the first hour, due to the effects of the wind, it will actually fly 538.5.